Well, my dear friends, so straight away, let us enter into the topic. So what exactly is this um, listening and what is hearing? So most of the people, the commonly asked question is, sir, what is the difference between hear and listen? So it's an important aspect. It's an important question. Well, my dear friends, so hearing is very simple. The ability of the ear, the ability of the hear to get the sounds, it can be called as the hear. So let me put it through a slide. So hear versus listen. So here, now I'll put it in a, a pictorial way. I put it, I'll show you two pictures. You will understand. Later I will even explain. Now you see first here, the sounds, the sounds are smaller to bigger sounds, they are reaching the human ear. Whereas listening is a selectively with intention, with attention, if a person is getting, that can be described as the listening. So primarily, this is the difference. So hear and listen. So to receive or become conscious of a sound by making use of your ears can be described or defined as hearing. So very simple. So hearing is a natural ability of the body. The natural ability of a human body to perceive, to receive the sounds and getting conscious of a sound. And there is no control over it. You do not have any control over it. Whatever sound is happening around you. So your, your ears are getting those sounds. You do not have any control. You cannot select them and you cannot uh, stop them. So that is the natural ability of the human body. Now coming to listen. To give attention to someone or something in order to hear him fully. In order to hear him or her or any particular noise. So now... When it comes to primary difference between hearing and listening is that it is the attention. If you have the attention and if you are paying the attention to something, then it can be described as the listening. But voluntarily, involuntarily, automatically things are happening. It is the process. We can describe it as the hearing. Now, let me ask you one simple question. Now, I am speaking. Now, are you listening or are you hearing? So, I expect the answers in the chat box. Do you listen to me or you are just uh, getting, the, you are just, uh, uh, you are able to hear me? Yes, listening. Dr. Uma Sharma, Cherala Devendra, listening. Yes, because uh, now, in fact, the room in which you are sitting, that maybe you may be getting some noises from outside. The vegetable vendors' noises, the people who are uh, shouting some other things, and all the noises, the wind noise, the automobiles noises, different noises are reaching so that you cannot control. But you are listening to me. You are paying attention and you are listening to me. So listening has got attention to it. So as simple as that. So hereafter, do not get any confusion in this regard. So listening and hearing. So which is superior? Naturally, listening is superior because listening has got many advantages to enhance our knowledge level, to sharpen our skills, to build the relationships, to uh, have a gre greater understanding of the subject. We need to listen to something. So that's the reason listening is very much important for our growth. And of course, Hearing is very much needed. So without the ability to hear, we cannot listen. So here is a fundamental and then uh, the superior status is the listening. So this is the primary difference and let us uh, understand further and further to it. Now, one grammatically now speaking, hereafter, whenever you are using the word listen, ensure that it should be followed by the word to. For example, now so if someone asks you, hey, what are you doing? Now you need to say that, sir, I am listening to your lecture. Someone asks you, what are you doing? I am listening to Vivekananda's lecture. Simple. I am listening to songs. I am listening to music. 
like that. So listen, word should be followed by two. It goes uh, without saying. Hereafter, in your conversation, you just ensure that after listen word, you need to put to. Not only in ing form, progressive form, in any tense, the routine, regular, habitual action, listen to. I listen to news every day. Fine. In the past, I listened to a shocking news yesterday. Then future, I will listen to news regularly hereafter. Now, what are you doing? I am listening to your lecture. So that way in any tense, tense is not the issue over here. So the listen word should be followed by two. So this is one common error most of the people do. So they just like that form a sentence without using two. So listen should be followed by two. This is one takeaway from this particular lecture. Now in the same way today, you're going to get plenty of uh, new words. So just keep watching. I will give you a few more inputs, interesting things you're going to get now. Now let us talk something about here. Now some examples. I can hear the sound of traffic in the background. I can hear the noise in the market. So like that. So here uh, in this particular uh, concept, there is no need to put a two. Whereas with that listen, you need to put the word to. So with here, there is no need to put to. That is one thing we can understand. I can hear the sound. I can hear the noise like that. Now, the tenses, if you consider the present form that is infinite form V1, we call it usually. It is here. Then past form heard, H-E-A-R-D, heard. Here, heard, heard. So this way you need to remember. Whereas the listen, V1, V2, V3 forms are listen, listened, listened. So listen is a regular verb and here is an irregular verb. And what, are, what, is, an, what is a regular verb and what is uh, an irregular verb? It is very simple. If just by adding ED, if you get V2, V3 form, we call it as a regular verb. Whereas V2 form and V3 form, if they are different, then we can call it as an irregular verb. So here is a small typographical error is there. You might have observed. It should be V2. Where here by mistake, I might have typed V3. So let us get it corrected right now. Wow. <laughs> so one minute. So errors are common, right? Yes, I've overcome it now. Now let me show you. All right. Right, it got corrected. Chala. Here, heard, heard. Now, this is all about here. Now, one more, few more important things let us understand. Here cannot be used in progressive action. Yes, when it comes to grammar. Now, a while ago, I gave you an input. Listen should be followed by two. Now, coming to here, uh, here is one important grammatical rule. Dasharat Bhaska Varsakale. Great, sir. Good morning. Well, coming to this particular grammatical aspect of here, the word here can never be used in progressive action. Means now, what are you doing? A while ago, I asked. Then you said that, sir, I am listening to your lecture. In the same way, I am hearing, you cannot say. So that is the way uh, you need to remember. The word here should never be used in the progressive form. Why? The next question happens. So it's called as a sensory verb. Here is a sensory verb, one of the five senses. What are the five senses? The taste, the smell, listen, and see, touch. So these are the sense, five senses, the sensory verb. Now these sensory uh, actions are happening automatically without our intention, without our attention. They are happening automatically. So one grammatical rule, it says that for sensory verbs, we cannot use them in a progressive action because it happens automatically. There is no involvement from your side. If you are getting involved and if you are paying attention and if you are doing intentionally, then only it can be expressed in progressive action. Now I am listening to your lecture. That means you are paying attention and you are listening. Whereas here is happening automatically. So that's the reason you cannot say, I am hearing. So uh, there are number of such words. You can do this particular homework today. So you Google it. So which are all the words that cannot be used with the uh, in form or progress in progressive action. So love is one, one such word. I am loving, wrong. 
you might have seen so many movies the hero says what i love you he says that's it but the hero never says that i am loving you so even uh, a person <laughs> A, a, an actor who is not that good at grammar also, he does not make this grammatical error in movies and all, you might have seen. So, because love is an involuntary action. Yes, hate is also, sir, it is an involuntary action. I hate you only, we can say. So, <laughs> Sanjit Barsha. So, I am hating you, I am loving you, Cannot uh, we cannot say. So, this kind of expressions should always be expressed in routine, regular, habitual action form. So, that is simple present, if I have to say, grammatical wording, if I have to say, in simple present, we can use. Uh, progressive action, we cannot use. So, this is one particular thing you need to remember. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, here cannot be used in progressive action. This is one takeaway. So, this is the second takeaway from today's lesson. The first takeaway is what? Listen, word should always be followed by two. And here cannot be uh, used in the progressive action. So, you cannot say, I am hearing a song. Instead of that, I am listening to a song. You can say in progressive action. Or else, I hear songs. I hear a song. Also, you can say. Now, can you hear me? It is right. Hey, can you hear me? Are you getting me? It is also right. So, here, progressive action, when you are using, you are not uh, using in form with here. Are you getting me is right? Or can you hear me is right? Then you may get a doubt. Sir, whether hearing aid, there is one word, hearing aid. Uh, so, is it right or wrong? So, observe. Here, the word hearing is not used as a verb form. It is not used in the progressive action. It is used as a title, as a name, as a noun form in grammar we can call. So, hearing aid, this kind of uh, verb which is formed by using ing form, in grammar they are called as a gerund. So, here it is not a verb. So, it is a noun form or a title or a name. So, it is right. So, because it is a noun form and not a verb. So, hearing aid. So, there are many such examples for gerunds. We will have a separate session for gerund. Don't worry. Now, one more new word. It is yet another takeaway. Over here. So, one word now I am giving you. Over here. Just observe this picture. A picture speaks uh, uh, more than many sentences. So, two people are speaking uh, to each other in the background. Two people are speaking. And this gentleman uh, is, is in some other work. But without his knowledge, this conversation is reaching his ears. So that kind of, uh, uh, of course, natural ability of the body is what to hear the sounds. But uh, with the sounds, if you are getting some information also into your mind, so that kind of process can be described as overhearing. For example, you are traveling in a bus. Somewhere in the third row or fourth row, so two people are speaking. It is their uh, uh, discussion. It is neither private or something. They are discussing. In their discussion, they are giving some breaking news, some important news they are discussing. Now you come to know, oh my God, is it so? So now you, what is that? Did they say to you? No. They are discussing among themselves, but you got that information. Now you got down the bus, you meet your friends, you go to staff room or you meet your colleagues and you say that, hey, do you know that? I overheard this particular news. I have overheard this particular news. So, over here is a process where you are getting information which is not intended for you. Somebody are discussing, but that is an important piece of information that is useful for you. You got aware of that particular news, then it, this kind of situation, we can call it as, we can say that this is overhearing. So, I have overheard this particular news. I have overheard this particular piece of conversation. So, over here is yet another takeaway, third takeaway from today's session. So, over here, it means to hear someone without their knowledge or intention. Of course, it is not a secret matter also. They are discussing in public. It is a general or a general topic or some kind of uh, a discussion they are making. So, that is because why am I saying it is not private? Next world, when you come to that, you will understand. That is the reason I am specifically telling. A general talk, somebody are discussing, that, that reaches your ear, ears, that reaches your ears and you got aware of that particular piece of information. So, in this process, you can say that you overheard it. So, over here, overheard, overheard. V1, V2, V3 forms. Now, eavesdrop. 
get another word this is the last take away from today's session use drop e a v e s d r o p use drop use drop means to listen secretly to what is said in private for example uh, it, a group of people or two people they are discussing their private matters in their home or in their privacy two people or group of people they are discussing some private matters but someone else in the other room they are paying attention they do not know problem these people who are in that room they are unaware that their discussion is being listened by someone privately so in this in this situation we can say that uh, this person is getting he is the uh, ears dropping so this is where secretly we are getting the information so over here is some kind of discussion which reaches your ears so without your uh, knowledge it reaches it is intended for someone else. that is over here whereas ears drops you are deliberately intentionally you are paying attention to someone else's discussion so this is about ears drop so now my dear friends here the first take away from here is what it should not be used in progressive action it is an uh, involuntary action automatically happening then comes listen you are paying attention and you are listening and it is useful over here is something some conversation or some information is reaching your ears without your knowledge but it is useful or it is it has got some importance then ears drop is something which you are doing secretly so these are the takeaways and one more important takeaway we got today is what listen word should be followed by two so these are the takeaways from today's discussion